Today's Daily Read Aloud is Moana, a Disney movie classic, adapted by Laura Hitchcock. Even when she was little, Moana of Motunui loved the ocean. She also loved listening to Grandma Tala's stories. Moana's favourite was about the trickster demigod, Maui, who stole the heart of the mother island, Tefiti. According to Grandma, Maui upset the balance of nature by stealing the heart. Moana's dad, Chief Tui, believed the ocean was dangerous. The islanders were forbidden to sail beyond the reef. But little Moana found a deep connection to the ocean and all the creatures who belonged in it. She always wanted to help. And the ocean noticed. It gave Moana a special gift. When Chief Tui picked up Moana, she dropped the gift. Luckily, someone else picked it up. That someone was Grandma Tala. She believed the ocean's gift was the heart of Tefiti. As Moana grew, she worked hard to help lead her people and follow her father's rules. But when Moana turned 16, Grandma Tala took her aside. It's time to learn who you were meant to be, Grandma said. She led Moana to a hidden cavern, full of ancient canoes. When Moana started drumming, bam, 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 she could feel the spirits of her ancestors. They were wayfinders, voyagers on the ocean. Grandma Tala's last wish was for Moana to journey across the ocean, find Maui, and restore the heart of Tefiti. So, with the heart of Tefiti safe inside her necklace, Moana set sail. But sailing on the open ocean was not easy for Moana, especially when a storm hit. Moana and her boat washed up on a faraway island, where she met Maui, the demigod. He was not what Moana expected. Maui stole Moana's boat, but when he tried to sail away, the ocean made sure Moana went with him. The ocean wanted them to work together. Maui promised to help return the heart of Tefiti, only if Moana helped him find his magic fish hook. But first, they had to get past the Kakamora, an army of wild coconut clad bandits. <gasps> then they had to dive in Lalatai, the realm of monsters. Thinking fast, Moana tricked Tamatoa, a crab monster. Moana and Maui retrieved the missing fish hook and escaped. Along the way, Maui taught Moana how to wayfind, which is using the sun, the stars, the moon, and the ocean current to navigate. And when the journey became too difficult, the spirit of Grandma Tala returned. Know who you were meant to be, Grandma Tala, spirits told Moana. When Moana and Maui finally reached Tefiti, the mother island was gone. Instead, there was a lava monster named Teka. Maui and Moana tried everything, but they could not defeat Teka. Then Moana had an idea. Summoning all her courage, Moana gave the heart to Teka. And Teka remembered who she was meant to be. She was Tefiti. With her heart restored, Tefiti bloomed and blossomed. The world was back in balance. Moana and Maui said goodbye to each other. Their journey together was complete. Maui transformed into a hawk and flew away. It was time for Moana to return to her people.
The young girl from Motunui knew exactly who she was meant to be. She was a daughter, a leader, and a wayfinder. She was Moana. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. We have a new story every day, so make sure you subscribe. The end.